Their key mandate is to enforce the Drug Control Act of the Gambia and all the international convention relative to drug abuse, drug trafficking and related crimes. An institution whose role has stretched and over the years giving significant attention to nabbing of criminals and certain individuals in relation to drug matters. In the execution of this role, investigation becomes a key component that helps to determine and come to conclusion in certain cases. Over the years, the government has had a Zolo Toran for drug abuse and trafficking, while ensuring to work closely with stakeholders in drug demand reduction in Gambia. The effort has been foregoing. Enhancing and ensuring its effectiveness is the reason behind this training, which came following a memorandum agreement signed in 2021 between the Gambia Drug Law Enforcement Agency and the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency of Nigeria. This is in fulfillment of the agreement made, and the focus for these field officers is money laundering and financial investigation to help officers familiarize themselves with criminal networks and their finances in order to effectively mitigate criminal connectivities in the subregion. On its responsibilities, officials believe the training will help in building a smart, efficient workforce that will further contribute in ensuring peace and security. Understanding the, 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 the nature of transnational organized crime in the 21st century, where crime is no longer bounded by borders, and considering the magnitude of financial resources and expertise at the disposal of criminal organizations, no single law enforcement agency can effectively tackle them. This situation has justified the need for genuine collaboration, cooperation and coordination. Dr. Ibrahim Abdul, lead trainer from Nigeria, dilated on the benefits of the training to officers in combating pressing issues like drug dependency, trafficking, amongst others. And this exercise wouldn't have come at a more timely period than now, when the whole world is pervaded and is worried and is troubled with the problem of drug dependency, problem of drug abuse, problem of terrorist financing, and proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. And most African countries are facing sanctions because of our inability to comply technically by providing all the laws that the United Nations instruments have urged us to do. Representative from the United Nations Office Drug and Crime, Kumba Job, said cooperation through sharing information and capacity building of officers could help mitigate the drug phenomenon in the West African subregion. We all know that drug trafficking networks have established footholds in West African countries, included in the Gambia, by exploiting the governance system and the loopholes in legislations. The seizures of over billions of uh, dollars worth of cocaine and other drugs recently between 2021 and 2022 is a clear manifestation that no single nation is immune from the dangers and the proceed of drug trafficking, abuse and um, use. We have a drug demand reduction project which seeks to tackle the drug problem by involving a comprehensive, balanced, and coordinated approach, but also which addresses both the supply control, the demand reduction, which reinforces each other, together with appropriate application of the principle of shared responsibility. A welcomed initiative, described to be timely, with expectation of lessons to be learned to add to the already existing knowledge to ensure effectiveness and efficiency to curb the menace criminal cause to the society. How enjoy? Yeah, just news.